we are reading today is called My Oh My, A Butterfly. Oh, about butterflies. I'm the cat in the hat. If you look in the sky, you might see a butterfly fluttering by. They are colorful insects whose lives you will see are very exciting. Come on, follow me. Right here in my yard, if you look, you might spot a butterfly egg. It's a little round dot. It sticks to a leaf. Rain won't wash it away. Right here on this leaf is where it wants to stay. You might think in these eggs there are small butterflies, but wait till they hatch and you get a surprise. Caterpillars hatch out of a butterfly eggs. They look like a small worms and may have 16 legs. They start chewing and growing and growing and chewing. And that's about all that they spend their time doing. They eat first their eggshells, then it's leaves that they need. They eat all the time and they grow with great speed. If we grew as fast as they do, this was funny to us. In two weeks, we each would be as big as a bus. This caterpillar has grown too big for its skin. It needs bigger skin than the skin it has been in. So it takes a deep breath and then it wobbles and wiggles. Its skin starts to split as it joggles and jiggles. The old skin falls off and right there underneath is new bigger skin that has been hiding beneath. It eats the old skin. Oh yum, how delicious. Proteins in the skin makes it very nutritious. See this caterpillar? He really looks cute, dressed up in his new black and orange striped suit. After the fourth time it sheds all its skin, the next stage of a butterfly's life will begin. It hangs upside down like a small leather J, and then for a few hours it hangs there that way. And then it changes again. The next stage is this. A shell forms around it called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar keeps changing. All oh, its body parts are rearranging. For almost 10 days, it can't move and can't eat. And then one day, the butterfly's change is complete. A tiny black leg begins to poke through. Within seconds, another leg pops into view. She bursts into the air. A bright new butterfly. Her wings are so soft that at first he can't fly. She must wait until they harden. Till then, she must stay. If an enemy comes, she cannot fly away. Her antenna start working to sense what's around her. The motions, the smells, the sights that surround her. In hours, her new wings get harder and so she is ready to fly. She is ready to go. See? These two caterpillars, they are different. Here's why. One will soon be a moth. One a bright butterfly. One makes a chrysalis. And now we know inside it a butterfly is starting to grow. One spin a cocoon like a blanket to hide it. And then a new moth begins to growing inside. Spiders, frogs, beetles, birds, lizards, and mice think bright butterflies for a snack are quite nice. 
Every butterfly knows birds are trying to catch it. Its wobbly flight makes it harder to snatch it. This butterfly's color warm folds. It might meet. I'm poison. I'll hurt you. I'm not good to eat. Some cover their bright wings with dark wings. You see, this helps them to blend with the leaves on the tree. Butterflies are so light. This will show you how much you will need just to equal the weight of a penny. They see thousands of pictures. If one looked at me, here is a drawing of what it would see. With this tube, the Probocus, a butterfly, draws nectar from flowers, like we drink from straws. We have a new hobby. We just started trying. It's fun and it's free, and it's called butterflying. We look to find the butterflies. They are everywhere, in our yard, near a stream, on the ground, in the air. We write down the day and the time that we saw them. We write down the place and then take a crayons and draw them. When you find the butterflies, there are ways you can see by the size, shape, and the color what kind they might be. Butterflies get their names from all different things. Swallowtail butterflies have long tails on their wings. Here is a lace wing. Its wing look like a lace. This owl butterfly look like a baby owl's face. Which one is the smallest? It's a pygmy blue. A bird wing is largest. It's beautiful too. There are the monarchs. Just watch them in flight. They have orange and black wings with small dots of white. They can't live in cold weather, so somehow they know they must fly where it's warmer, like to Mexico. They fly hundreds of miles. They fly hours and hours. They stop just to rest and sip nectar from flowers. Monarchs hide in a storm. When the thunder is crashing, they know they are in danger. When lightning is flashing, how do these butterflies know where they are going? Scientists really have no way of knowing. Butterflies can be tagged to show where they are from. This way, we can learn how far they have come. This one is from Maine, and I think this is cool. It was tagged by the kids at. An elementary school. Monarchs fly for weeks till they finally see in the Mexican forest an oyamo tree. They fly to the tree and then, just before dark, they land and they hook their small legs in the bark. Without the sun's warmth, they are too cold for flight, so they huddle together. To wait out the night, blow gently onto a cold butterfly, and you help it warm up so it's able to fly. In the spring, when it's warm, monarchs lift off from the trees. They flutter and swoop, and they dance in the breeze. Now. That is warmer. These butterflies know they must mate and lay eggs, so new babies can grow. Males look for ma females to mate with. It's true that have colors and markings that looks like theirs do.
Once a female has made it, it's hard to go on. She will not live much longer. Her time is almost gone. His carrying axe. They are heavy. That's why she can't get back home. It's too far to fly. So she searches for leaves and lay eggs one by one. She lay hundreds of eggs and won't stop until she's done. Butterflies are surprising and beautiful things as they soar through the air on their bright-colored wings. They are like jewels in the sun. They live just a short while, but whenever you see one, you can't help but smile. For you know, on a leaf, if you look, you may find an egg that a butterfly just left behind, and in this egg, small as the head of a pin, a new butterfly life is about to begin. The end.